What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. It's great to see you guys today. We have the third special request from Welcome to Wizard. That's right, three in a row. We're doing Mer World by Murphy Yu. This is from 2022. Not familiar with the project, not familiar with the artist. It's 10 songs, 38 minutes. No idea what it's going to sound like based on the album cover. Looks like we're going to get into some creepy dark shit, so that should be fun. That should be some good shit. Before we jump into it, I want to say thank you once again to Welcome to Wizard for supporting the channel and requesting this one, but also to the patrons and members of the channel, everyone in the $5 tier and above gets access to these videos early, uncut, ad-free, and they get access to the videos that get blocked on YouTube. So thank you guys as well. I couldn't do it without you guys and your support. So that means a lot to me. And uh, I'm not going to waste your time with a super long intro. Let's just jump into it. Like I said, it's Murworld, M-R-R-R-W-R-L-D, by Murphy Yu. Track one is Miss Murph's Magic Mirror. Love that alliteration. Let's get into it, see what it sounds like. Mirror World. Okay. Mirror World. Album is by my friend Murphy Yu. She released the album on my label, Fosh Wave, in 2022. Describes it as a new genre called Crush Wave. Key information. Key information. All right, let's get it. I'm digging the dissonance, I'm digging the crushed kind of sound design on these synths. Very crunchy, very distorted. It's like they're trying to play some really pleasant melodies, but they're not quite able to because of the dissonance. It's like they're trying to fly, but gravity is just too strong. The sense. Sounds good. I love a trippy album. Man. It's an interesting intro. Already getting some really cool visual visuals uh, in my mind to accompany the sounds. It's really nice. Oh, there are lyrics for this one. I'll pull them up. Really cool samples here. Oh. Oh. Great bounce. There's some bongos or something on the left here. That's really cool. Huge drums, man. Love that. Mm -hmm. 
That's a bop, dude. I love the vibe here. Holy shit. Oh, that's awesome. No lyrics for that one. I'm really liking this build. Oh, the stutter? I'm loving the groove here, man. So sick. Oh, just dropping right back into the slower one, okay. Those melodies are disgusting, dude. Oh, I'm about to transcend. That bass is fat as fuck too, Jesus. Nothing like a little grating high frequency outro it's cool as fuck man is this still the same song oh no a transition oh shit okay okay i see you damn she's cooking Everything about the way this song is starting is so subtle. I'm so terrified of what this is gonna build to. I'm sure it's just gonna come out of nowhere, just smack me in the face.
This is like the Minecraft soundtrack, but if the weed paranoia just hit, you know? Sleep paralysis demon type beat. She's creating a really interesting world with this one. This song is like as pleasant as it is eerie. That's very cool. Could have sworn something random and just like super aggressive was gonna come in out of nowhere, but no, it really was four minutes of just pleasant creepiness. It's pretty like Victoria Pedretti, but it's bent neck lady Victoria Pedretti, so it's like, ooh. Lady Victoria Pedretti is... I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Creepy and pleasant at the same time is such an achievement. It's really special. It's very interesting. I think interesting is the best word I could find for it. Like as haunting as it is, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, watch me cook. It's like, uh, it's like if you believe in an afterlife, like that certainty that there's something after death, but you're still also afraid of dying, you know? It's like that comfort and that fear at the same time. That's kind of what that sounds like. Congratulations, you won. I just got it, you know? She just told me I nailed it. That's the concept. <laughs> This is so weird. I love it. That one's really quick too. The dissonance there, it's so bold to use dissonance that's that heavy, you know? Like, you know it's gonna turn off a bunch of people, but fuck it, you know? It's the art. I think it sounds great. I love the stuttering. Wow. 
Wow. She's killing it with the drums here. The melodies are great too. So trippy, man. Wow. Damn. Oh, this is so aptly named, man. It really does feel like an identity crisis. Like, it really does feel that way. This is so unique. got like a fire boom bap kind of a feeling to it. That's dope, man. Organs are so sick. The 
stutter, man. The reverse. Mm. I, I, while this sounds very unique, it also sounds like something you might hear like Eminem rap on in the late 90s when he was doing like the Slim Shady LP. It has that kind of like horror feeling to it. Mmm, this is dope. That was a really, really cool progression for that song. That was a whole story, you know? That makes sense that that's your favorite. That's a really great song. Skin Bag. This is, again, another really interesting world that she's building with this music right now. This is a whole atmosphere.
I'm lost in it, man. I'm so lost in the sauce. That's really cool, yeah. It does feel like well, right now there is some higher pitched, more clean sounds than the ones that we were listening to just a few minutes ago. That's really interesting. I hadn't noticed that, that's awesome. like there's like super filtered animalistic kind of sounds you know and I'm not even talking about my neighbor's dog that's yapping in the background it's it feels like you know crickets and like frogs like ribbiting but super filtered and, you know it's almost like being lost in the jungle yeah Yeah, you see the vision. The murder. There's no vowels in the mirror world. All consonants all the time. track man it's just eight minutes of just atmosphere you know just world building that's awesome
Thanks for following. Dude, this music is so atmospheric. It's so easy to get lost in. The build is really nice. fast drums. Yo, that voice coming in out of nowhere and saying, Murphy, it's you, gave me chills. That was so creepy. Dude, yeah, 10 minutes of pure ambience. We had an eight minute song of like pure ambience before that. And then a big portion of the last track was also just ambience and the huge payoff at the end with the, the, the build and then the drums coming in and then that voice comes in and says like, Murphy, it's you or something like that. Just haunting as fuck. It's like really feels like it. She's you know speaking across the void or something, and gave me chills. And then the music just drops back in, so climactic. Like it's gorgeous, gorgeous outro. 
very unique, very cinematic, you know, very atmospheric project. I don't really think I have heard anything like it. I think it's fair for her to be calling this like a, like a, a genre uh, that she's, you know, she's like creating it, like she's dubbing it. What, what did you say it's called? Crush? Um, what's it called? Crush Wave. Yeah. I think that's a fair, that's a fair depiction of what it sounds like. Um, I don't know if you'll show her this video. I don't know if she'll watch this, but when you talk to her, tell her she smashed it out of the park. Like that, that's a really bold, unique, interesting, creative, um, very, very, you know, tasteful, like art artistic in every sense of the word, like project. Like that's truly putting yourself to music, you know? in a way that so many people try to do. Um, I think there was one song with like lyrics on it that was like the sample. Everything else was just pure instrumental and it was emotion conveyed through production and beautifully so. I mean, the dissonance, uh, the, the abrasive sound, it's not gonna be for everybody. You know, I'm not saying that everybody should listen to this. It's not gonna be for everybody, but it's a very emotional project. It really is. I, I, I think so, at least. That's what I get from it. I, I, it it's, I said at one point it was as pleasant as it was kind of eerie um, and creepy and dark. It's also light and ambient and reverberant and hopeful. Some of the melodies are hopeful, I would say. Um, I said the first song sounded like sonically the melodies were trying to rise out of like a, a pit, you know, or something, but they just kept getting dragged back down by gravity. Like they would start to soar and sound really beautiful and then they would just get dissonant. And they, it really felt like someone was pulling on them. Um, and, and, you know, if that's not a metaphor for the way that so many people feel nowadays in their day-to-day -day lives, um, I, I just think it's really fitting for where we're at and for how so many people around us go about their lives. I think that that's just very touching. I, f I think it's very emotional. I do. Um, I think it's a wonderful project. I think it's masterfully put together. I think the production is surreal out of this world. I think she killed it. I think she killed it. I think she cooked. I think she is um, amazing. Just amazing. I'm, I'm bewildered. <laughs> I'm bewildered. I'm, I'm like scraping the bottom of my vocabulary barrel to even try and describe it, you know? Just pulling synonyms and adjectives that I haven't used in years, you know? <laughs> to try and decipher what exactly it made me feel and why it did so and, and to try and tell you guys what I think it sounds like. It's awesome. It's awesome. Favorite and least favorite. I probably would say that my favorite is me. I think it's just a hugely climactic, wonderful depiction of herself in the music. I, I think that the concept of it alone, like I, it made me think about if I were going to make a song titled me and I would want it to represent, you know, who I was or at least who I was at the moment I made it and how difficult that would be. And here it is, you know, she did it. Um, it's brave and it's vulnerable and it's I'm sure it means a lot to her and um, and I really admire that she got it done and that it sounds as incredible as it does I'd say my least favorite do I have a least favorite I, I enjoyed all of these I enjoyed all of these like, even Stranger, which was like 31 seconds, sounded really cool. I don't think there's a song on here that I didn't enjoy. You know? Like, if I have to pick a song to go without, it would be Stranger, just because it's so short. But I think it's necessary. I think it needs to be here, you know? Like, if, if gun to my head, choose one to get rid of, Stranger, but I really like it. But me is definitely my favorite. I think it's such a cool idea. 
I think it's such a cool idea. And the, the fact that, yeah, the fact that she, I, I can't begin to imagine how I would, how I would do that. How I would, I, yeah, how I would make a song called me, you know? I just, I, I don't know where to start. And, um, and she did it. So, yeah, she's insane in the best way possible. Tell her that. Tell her that next time you see her. That uh, I admire her a lot. That's, that's really, really good. Great album. Great work. That was Murderer by Murphy. <laughs> that was Mirror World by Murphy U. I'm going to follow her. I'm going to follow her. That's incredible. She has some other work here. Oh, she has an album from 2018 called Murphy's Law. Might have to check that out next. All right. Yeah, really, really cool. Great stuff. Great, great stuff. Those are my thoughts on it. Uh, check it out. If you listen to this or you watch this video and you think it, you might enjoy the project, if it sounds like it's, you know, something that you might enjoy, definitely check it out. And um, she couldn't come on stream because of work. Oh, she was going to be here today? Oh, shit. I, that's, that's unfortunate that she wasn't able to be here, but that's okay. That's okay. I think I might have gotten nervous if the actual like artist was in the chat, so it's kind of good um, that she wasn't here. In all honesty, in all honesty, um, I'd be afraid of like hyping it up, up too much because I know how some people um, aren't super comfortable with like receiving compliments, and so I'd I'll, I'd be worried about like being too excited about it. But yeah. I loved it. I really, really did. You killed it, Murphy. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thank you, Wizard. This was awesome. And um, out of the three albums from the past three days, which was my favorite? Oh, man. This one we listened to... I would say this one. I really would. I would say this one, and then in second, I would say uh, Just a Gen, Planet Oasis, and then, yeah, third, I would say The, the Tiny House, just because of how long it was. Like it, it, I'm, it's a great project overall, but it was so long. <laughs> it was so long. Uh, the other two are definitely much easier to sit down and just listen to, but this one is definitely sonically, lengthwise, conceptually, absolutely my favorite of the three. I had a blast listening to it. I will see you guys next time. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Until then, peace out.